Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side. Now I'm here in Blackpool, it's a Friday afternoon and I'm here on the promenade, just by the North Pier, behind me, and uh, it's day two of the Rebellion Festival as well. You might have seen my first video from yesterday on the first day of the festival. Well, it's day two now and I thought I'd show you a little bit around Blackpool. We'll have a little look around the promenade and then we'll head into town and see what it's like on day two of Rebellion. Anyway, let's go and have a little look around here, shall we? Oh my goodness, check this out folks. <laughs> it looks a bit choppy out there today, look at that. Wow, that is a bit wild folks. Wowzers, there's a note there for you. Oh, there's quite a few people on the pier. Yeah, it's not a bad day, but it's a bit breezy in Blackpool today, yeah. Let's go and have a little look over here, shall we? So I managed to capture the Heritage Tram there, going past the North Pier. Don't forget you can book them through Tram Town. I'll put a link in the description to Tram Town if you want to ride on one of the old Blackpool trams. So what's it like on Blackpool Promenade? We're looking towards Feldman's Arcade building, the old music hall there. Taz Yates is in it these days, and next to that we've got uh, shenanigans. Just there, I can see a few. Uh, I can see a few pumps in shenanigans. Looking towards the tower now, of course. We've got a nice day today. It is a bit breezy though, and that that wind is a little bit on the cold side. Let's just have a little look this way. Over there, by the way, is the heritage stop. You see over there? It's just this side of the wedding chapel. Oh, look at this, folks! Wouldn't you want to be in Blackpool today? Check out this weather. Anyway, let's head over here, shall we? We'll head into town and we'll see what the uh, Rebellion Festival is like today. That's an old building, isn't it? Robert's Oysters Room. You see that on the old, old photograph, don't you? We'll head up here, shall we? Past Blackpool's smallest pub, the Mitre, on the right-hand side. Smallest pub in Blackpool. A lot of music coming from all over the place around here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty lively in Blackpool at the moment. This is the weather screens, late and late. I've seen a few pumps already. Uh, I'm a little bit earlier than I was yesterday, so... Might not be quite as many around. I think tomorrow, Saturday, is going to be quite interesting. This is Market Street, by the way. That's a look down Market Street towards the tower. You see a lot of this at night. When I, when I do my night videos, I come round here quite a lot at night. So, we'll just head up this way. Just up here on the right-hand side is the Rose and Crown pub, and they host a lot of the punks because they're connected with the the Tash the Tash venue, the, the old Tash Rock Club, which used to be on Cookton Street but that's all gone now so they've got like a new version, I don't, know, I don't know how it works, but there's like a newer version of it a smaller version and I think that that is in here, but as you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of pubs here at the Rose and Crown there you go, the Rose and Crown on the corner of Burley Street and Corporation Street here. This is where you get the bus. Just over that way is Talbot Square, that way. That's the back of the Town Hall, by the way, Town Hall there. Hiya. Right. Right. Just got spotted there. This is Burley Street and we've got this very fancy artwork that goes up and down it's got music lights all that sort of stuff a bit like las vegas really but what do you think folks it's uh, looking pretty lively isn't it outside the just like it was yesterday actually i'm a little bit early today 
But yeah, Burley Street, the, the council want a bit of a cafe culture going on down here. That's why they've done all this fancy thing here. We've got the, it's all pedestrianised. That was done years and years ago. And it, it does seem to be working. It's not perfect. I mean, we've got quite a few uh, seating areas here. And uh, if we just look up here, we've got some muck, got loads of cafe, got the coffee pot, JK's cafe and grill. Look at this, on a nice day, it's brilliant. I mean, look at this here. This is how it should be. On Burley Street. The pepper mill. There's plenty for everyone in a Blackpool. Plenty of places to get something to eat. I just want to point out, this place over here is called The Compass. I went in there with the Mac Master. Check out my video with the Mac Master and The Compass. It was absolutely awesome. Awesome breakfast in there. Yeah. Those seagulls don't half make a racket. Anyway, I'm going to head up towards St John Square now. There were loads of pumps in St John Square yesterday. Let's see how many there is today, shall we? Tell you what, those seagulls are going absolutely mental. I'm just outside a shop called the Crypt. In fact, the, it, it looks closed. The Crypt is closed. But that was connected with the shop next door, which is the Screaming Shake Horror Cafe, which is uh, which is open. We don't know what's happened to the Crypt. But anyway, we'll carry on. We're now at the top of Burley Street. This is the West Coast Rock Cafe, a very popular cafe in Blackpool. It is owned by the same people that own the Rose and Crown pub and this has been going for a long time. So this brings us out at Abingdon Street. So this is Abingdon Street. We'll just have a little look down Abingdon Street shall we? Oh hello. Coppers. There's the old post office over there. That shut down in 2008. Yeah 2008 that's been closed since yeah what's going to happen with it well the plan to turn it into a boutique hotel and all that sort of stuff it's going to take a long time though but as i turn around we've got abingdon street market which used to be here but at the moment it's not really a market at the moment it used to be a police station back in the really old days can you see that sign above the, the door there but anyway at the moment the market is only partially open around the back and it's like a sort of food hall so Abingdon Street Market is open if you go around the back, but it's only open for food. Anyway, we're now coming into, oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> there's something going on with these seagulls. They're going absolutely crazy up there. Wowzers. Anyway, let's head on into St. John Square, shall we? Look at this. Looking busy again. Look at this, look. Rebellion 2023 here in Blackpool. This is how it's looking. Oh, what an atmosphere. I'm walking right through the fountain at the moment. I hope, to, I hope they don't turn it on. Look at this. If you don't get a chance to come, then obviously I can bring it to you. I'll bring a bit of Blackpool to you, so you don't have to. Look at this fella here, look. He's got the right idea. Yeah, so there you go, this is St John Square. We're just outside the Winter Gardens. Tell you what, the bus is on a bit of a ghost slow at the moment. This is the Winter Gardens now, we're looking towards it. It's all going on inside the Winter Gardens. This is how it looks in Blackpool. The Rebellion. Second day. Still getting warmed up. I'm sure that uh, tonight it will be absolutely banging tonight. Yeah, look at all these. Oh, mental, isn't it? What do you think? Wow. 
trousers. We've got the drummer man's here again. I filmed him yesterday. Here he is. There he is. Drummer man. Let's have a bit of drummer man again. a quick look at another entrance of the Winter Gardens. This is the Victoria Street entrance here. Very grand, isn't it? Look at that. That's a, the Spanish Hall is just up there. Yeah, how about that? Uh, amazing. Uh, the Winter Garden. We're so lucky to have the Winter Garden. Does anybody remember the... <laughs> Does anybody remember the big wheel in Blackpool? It used to be just there. You see this building that goes down here? That's where the giant wheel used to be here in Blackpool. So there you go. There's another look at another side of the Winter Gardens. I just want to give a shout out to Scouse Dwayne, who I just met back there by the Winter Garden. Shout out to Scouse Dwayne from Liverpool. Yeah. Check this out, folks. This is Kaylee. We saw her a little bit earlier there in St John's Square. Hello, Kaylee. There you go. She's enjoying rebellion, isn't she? Oh, yeah. There you go. I just want to give another quick shout out to Bob and Shell from Doncaster. They've been looking for me for three years, coming to Rebellion for three years, and this, finally they found me today. So there you go, that was Blackpool on a Friday, bringing you a bit of the Rebellion Festival, day two of the Rebellion Festival. What do you think, folks? It's an amazing atmosphere, isn't it? And if you get a chance to come up this weekend, you want to check it out for yourself. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I'll be bringing you some more on the Rebellion Festival as we go along. If you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.